Okay, quick illustration of the Doppler effect. If you have a point that emits sound, it could be anything, it could be tissue, blood, anything. You have your point. If it is stationary, the waves will be concentric, kind of like throwing a stone in a pond. You just get waves that kind of run out from it. Where we end up with the Doppler effect is if this sound emitter moves. So if it starts moving this direction, what we end up with is we have our, our source and it's moving. Our waves are going to bunch up on that the side that it's moving towards. So you're going to have them really close together on the side that it's moving towards and really far apart. So what our wave will actually look like is we'll have a high frequency here and it'll get lower frequency as it moves away expect you know and and that's in relation to us and we're observing it from from this side so from the observer watching the point move if it's moving towards us we will have a high frequency and behind the emitter is a low frequency so in a nutshell, that's the Doppler effect. So if you imagine these things are in a, in a blood vessel and you have all these little blood cells moving, as they move this direction, it's going to have a high frequency wave this direction, especially if we're, you know, if we're observing from here. And it's going to have a low frequency behind it. So this is how the machine can tell direction of flow. If the high frequency is on this side, it's moving towards the transducer. If the high frequency is on this side, it's moving away.